Good morning, group. I'm back with my uh, scent of the day, and today I decided to go down to the bottom rack, and that's where I have my uh, clones, we call them. And I, don't, I actually don't like using that word, clone. I don't know if this is a clone. Uh, today I'm wearing Al Harmain uh, La Aventure Night. And, you know, it gets compared to Green Irish Tweed. Um, for me, in the beginning, um, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't start out Green Irish Tweed. Um, in the beginning, to me, it's, it's, it's more reminiscent of, of uh, Aspen by Cody. I remember back, uh, you know, it's not one of the ones that I had a bottle of my five original because I probably used the whole bottle of Aspen or, you know, got rid of it somehow. But I remember having a bottle of Aspen, and I remember wearing that a lot. And, and at that time, I didn't know anything about Green Irish Tweed. I don't remember ever using cool water or anything like that. Um, and it wasn't until, this new, until I started getting the fragrance that I learned about Green Irish Tweed. Um, I don't compare Aspen and Green Irish Tweed. You know, to me, they're, they're not the same. Uh, or clones, you know, one is a clone of the other. Do they have similarities? Yeah, they're, they're, they're like a powdery green. That's what I would call them. Uh, you know, a softer powdery green. Uh, but they're, they're different. And, and for me, this one, I wouldn't say it's a clone of either of them. Um, basically, this starts out smelling more like uh, Aspen, although it has a, a, a little sharper note with that lemon and I think that tea note. It has tea in it. Um, and, and, but but right, right away, you start getting that Aspen smell. And, uh, and then it dries down to similar to Green Irish Tweed, I would guess, because I have decants of uh, Green Irish Tweed and I have a decan of uh, Shea Bon over there. To me, you know, Green Irish Tweed and Shea Bon are, are, would be similar, real similar, almost clones of, you know, I don't, you know, I wouldn't say clones either, but they, they smell the same. Um, this, this on the dry down, you know, it, it, it it's close. It's it's pretty close to that. Um, I like it. I like that I have this bottle. I like the presentation. Uh, it's something, uh, if I didn't have so many, it's something I would wear more often. Um, but I, I, you know, I like a variety of scents. So I, I wouldn't want, I don't really want a signature scent or I wouldn't have all these back there. And I wouldn't have the decants. Uh, you know, I'm the type of person, I, I don't collect bottles but I collect all the different scents because I want some variety of different days. This is one, you know, this type of smell, a green Irish tweed, it is one that, that I, you know, if I wasn't that type of person, it's one I would seriously look at it, you know, probably making a signature scent because it is a nice smell. Um, and anyway, that's, that's what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing uh, Al Harmain uh, La Aventure Night. And, um, yeah, it gets pretty good. It gets pretty good reviews on Friend Attica. I think it's like a 4.32 actually. So yeah, it's a good, good, good alternative to green Irish tweed. Cause like I said, on the dry down, it, it does, it does remind me of it. And, uh, and you know, I'm glad I, I'm glad I have it. So uh, with that, please pray for peace um, and please be kind. And uh, yeah, this is a little shorter today. Uh, and um, anyway, have a nice day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.